Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm going over why everyone should be doing pull-ups. The reason for this video is I want to identify just how great the pull-up is and some benefits that some people may be missing out on if they don't incorporate this exercise into their program. So this is going to be for people that are even into calisthenics that may not be doing the pull-up. Maybe they're not strong enough to do the pull-up, but this will give them an idea of how beneficial it is for them to build up and to learn the pull-up. And if you're someone that can't do a pull-up, then I do have a video on the best pull-up progression for beginners, and that will be just up there down below or it'll be at the end of the video. So make sure you check that out if you don't know how to do the pull-up and you want to learn how to do it. This is also gonna be important for people that are doing weightlifting or maybe bodybuilding and they're not doing this exercise. This video is gonna be for them as well because I want to sort of impress upon them that by missing out such a great exercise like the pull-up, you're potentially leaving gains out on the table for how strong you can get and how big and muscular you can get. So guys, let's jump into the video. So I'm gonna be going over why everyone should be doing pull-ups and I'm gonna be going through this step by step. So the first one we're going to be looking at is this is one of the best exercises you can do for your back, mostly for your lats. So the pull up is a fantastic exercise. It's one of the best exercises for building your back. And in many cases, people refer to it as the king of the back exercises or the king of the upper body exercises that you can do whether you're doing calisthenics or weight training. This exercise is that good. It's great for building all round back development when it comes to your rhomboids, when it comes to your traps, when it comes to your rear delts, when it comes to your lats. But specifically, it's one of the best builders when it comes to your lats. And one of the main reasons for that is that you're taking the lats through a long range of motion. And in many cases, you're actually gonna be getting a nice stretch in the lats as well, which has been shown to actually increase some hypertrophy. So you're getting a lot in the lats when it comes to exercise, mainly because you're taking it through a long range of motion. You're using the whole entirety of your body weight. So in many cases, there is a lot of intensity. The pull-up is fantastic because it is very, very progressive. You can move into weighted calisthenics or you can move into progressive calisthenics. However, there is a lot long way in which you can go on how progressive you can be and the intensity in which you can change. Mechanical tension is a key driver for hypertrophy. So if you're looking to build your back, specifically if you're trying to build the biggest, strongest lats that you can have, you want to be doing the pull-up. It's one of the best exercises for your back, but specifically for your lats. So the next thing we're gonna be looking at is this is one of the best exercises for your biceps. Many people will think that the best way to build their biceps is to do isolation work in the form of doing curls. However, whenever you are doing your back exercise when there is flexion in the elbow there is going to be tension placed in the biceps and because we are doing these big compound pulling exercises there is going to be more tension placed in the biceps so some of the best exercises for building your biceps aren't isolation work but the compound the big back pulling exercises that we're used to doing but one of the best for doing that is going to be the pull-up slash chin up the pull-up is going to be fantastic because you're taking the biceps for a long range of motion and you're placing a large amount of tension into them i.e your whole entire body weight. However, if you switch to grip from a pronated grip into the supinated grip, you get into the chin up and by placing yourself in a supinated grip, you're able to position your biceps in a position where they can be more actively recruited, more tension could be placed in them and they can become a bit more of a prime mover within the movement so they can get more tension in it. Like I said previously, mechanical tension is a key driver for muscular growth. So we can place more tension into the biceps, we can lead to more growth. And although I'm talking about pull-ups in this video, pull-ups and chin-ups are fairly interchangeable. They're only difference is is literally the hand placement so if you really want to focus on building the biggest but also the strongest biceps you possibly can you want to be doing the pull-up chin -up variation into your program it's going to be one of the best exercises for doing that so the third thing we're going to be looking at is it's great for decompressing the spine so for many of you who are doing say weighted exercises whether it's the barbell back squat whether it's the overhead press whether it's like most of us who are experiencing gravity right now there's going to be compression of the spine something like the pull-up is great because it allows us to decompress that spine, it allows us to stretch out, allows us to stretch out all of our back and then put us in a position where we can actually start looking after our spine health. So this is something that's often underestimated about how important this can be for just overall back health. But if you're someone who's doing a lot of back compressive work, then something like this is going to be fantastic for your overall back health. If we can put the back in a more of a, a position where it's healthier and in a better state, it's going to lead us to less injuries in the future. But actually looking after our spine is going to be something that is going to be very important. And this is the unique characteristic when it comes to pull-up is that unique ability to be able to decompress the spine, which is something that I think everyone should be doing. So the fourth thing we're going to be looking at is it stretches muscles as well. And the great thing about this is it predominantly stretches the lats. And even though it is one of the best lat builders, it is also great for creating a good stretch within the lats. And stretching the lats is very, very important. As we all know, flexibility and mobility are key to performance, but also our ability to get stronger and also to build muscle and to try and reduce 
reduce the risk of injury. So lats, having tight lats can be a big issue. Some of the main issues are going to be, it's really, really bad for shoulder mobility. So for any of you that are doing overhead work, whether it's barbell overhead press, or even doing stuff like handstand pushups, anything where your hands are gonna be up above your body, having tight lats is really bad for it. It's actually gonna reduce how high you can go up. It's gonna reduce your overhead mobility. And in many cases for people forcing that overhead mobility, what they will do is they will actually arch their back to try and get themselves into a position. And if you're doing that under load as well, or in many cases when people have poor shoulder mobility, if they're doing handstand pushups, like I said, overhead pressing, they arch that back, it's gonna place a lot of stress on the lower back and this can then lead to many injuries. So actually having an exercise is really, really great for stretching lats and you're actually getting this while also doing the exercise as well, gets two for one in one exercise. The other thing is the lats are an internal rotator. So if you're doing something that allows you to stretch out those lats, you're going to sort of get that stretch, which is actually going to stop them you from being so internally rotated. If we are internally rotated, muscles work in pairs. So if you have one that is excessively tight, it's going to stretch the other one and then make it weaker. So if we are very internally rotated, it's going to make our rotator cuff muscles stretched and weaker. And this can lead to issues when it comes to strength and stability within the shoulder, which could then lead to injury. So actually making sure that we have good flexibility in our lats is very, very important, but it also allows us to stretch out our chest but these are muscles that are gonna allow us to be turned in, internally rotated, and this is gonna have issues when it comes to posture and other things like this, which is going to reduce our performance, it's going to increase the risk of possible injury, and it's gonna to lead to other issues down the line. So the great thing about this exercise is not only is it allowing us to build muscle, it also allows us to stretch him as well. So the next thing we're gonna be looking at is this is a functional movement. There's gonna be nothing more primal than the ability to be able to pull ourselves up something. If it is true that we evolved from apes, one of the key things that's gonna be natural with us is our ability to be able to pull ourselves up things. There's gonna be times in our life when we have the ability where we're gonna to need to be able to pull ourselves up things. So this exercise is something that has direct carryover to possibly everyday life. But this is a key argument why people promote calisthenics in general and the pull-up is one of the best calisthenics exercise that you can do because it has that functional element of whatever you do in a gym, whether you're lifting weights, it all comes down to how we move and control our body. And the pull-up is a key way in which we can develop strength, develop muscle, how we move ourselves. So this is a key functional exercise that also is a great indicator for relative strength. So relative strength is how much strength we have relative to our body weight. So this can be a good indicator if you are too heavy, but whether you have a good amount of strength to body weight ratio. In many cases, there are going to be people that think they are relatively strong when it comes to say lifting weights, but when it comes to body weight exercises, they really struggle. And this can be an indicator that they may be carrying either, maybe not too much muscle, but too much overall weight when it comes to actually moving ourselves. And for people that are looking to get into sports or activities where body weight is key, whether they have to stick to a certain weight or they need to have that ability where they have good strength to body weight ratio. So they have that performance without being too heavy. then this is going to be key for those sorts of people. The other thing that I want to sort of talk about, which is kind of like a bonus point and what makes pull-ups so great is they are accessible to everyone. Although you may think, okay, yeah, but I need a pull-up bar. Pull-up bars are some of the most, the cheapest and easiest products to be able to get. But I understand that some people may not be able to use a door frame one, but in many cases, in most cities, towns, and villages, in whatever country you go to, there are children's parks, which means that people have access to be able to do pull-ups because these things in many cases are free and easy to use. But even still, even if you do not have access to these things, you can climb trees. You can, if you have the money to buy a set of gymnastic rings, you can attach it to a tree and you can do pull-ups. So what is great about the pull-ups compared to say other exercises, and I know a lot of the key thing for calisthenics as well is it's free and accessible and can be done anywhere, but when it comes to say weights or other exercises, what a lot of people are gonna be doing, whether it's weightlifting or bodybuilding, they are focused on and are dependent on equipment. And in many cases, they are dependent and tied to a gym or the idea of buying and having lots of equipment to be able to do that. But the pull-up is so accessible to so many people and it's such a great exercise that gives you so many benefits. But I think that's a key thing, favor why people, more people should be experimenting with this exercise because it's so easy and free to do. So guys, let me know your opinions. Do you do pull-ups? If you do, why? If you don't, explain why down below. I wanna know, has this video changed your mind at all? Are you gonna start adding into your program? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this when it comes to calisthenics, fitness, strength training, and some weight training as well, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified of whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video.